He's got a little day pack on there and he's carrying the rods. We're uh, deep, deep, and I mean super deep in the interior of Algonquin Park. And that is what we're walking through. We're uh, headed into one of my little secret bush bash lakes, eh buddy? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be worthwhile or uh, it's hard to say? I don't know. I know we're going to sweat, that's for sure. I think this is going to be pretty epic. All right, GPS time, here we go. Well, we made it. That was kind of tough, eh, buddy? Yeah, they better be fishing this lake. <laughs> okay, we made it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the question remains, is there fish? Yeah. There better be, right, Bren? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to get our lines in the water shortly. Okay, we just started. Just started. This little back lake has some nice fish in it. Well, that's a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice one. And that? That's, yeah, let me just see. We're not going to keep this guy. That's a nice brook trout. Well, Bren, I guess there is fish in this lake. Yeah. That's what happens when you put a little bit of extra effort in. How hard was that? I don't know. And, and be honest. Just tell everybody watching this video how punishing that was to get into this lake. I would never want to do that again. No, it was brutal. It was totally brutal. Not a bad start. Look at that. Nice. All right, <clears throat> we're back into our back lake. Beautiful little morning. I just caught one the same size like a second ago. And uh, we're on to something here. It's not a big fish, but uh, fish are pretty abundant in here, I think, bud. Let's just have a quick peek at that before you release it. Nice fat little speck. Nice one. Beauty. Good job, buddy. Okay, we'll just unhook him carefully and get him back in the water. Perfect. So we're in kind of a shallow bay here. <coughs> Excuse me, the water's no more than maybe three feet deep and it's like black muck and uh, yeah there's there's some rocks there's a few weeds but it's shallow so I think they're in here feeding on bugs for sure and Brendan just I don't know if the camera microphone caught that he's like we should have the fly rod so we actually did bring our fly rods this year but we made a decision because it is so difficult to uh, get into this lake. We just brought the bare minimum in. We might regret that decision, right buddy? Yeah. All right. This feels like a pretty good one. We saw a little boil right off this point. Bren took one or two casts and uh, I think your lure is going to get caught in the trees there. So. Oh my god, there's another one that boiled right there. I don't know what to do. I could <laughs> cast out and catch. They're all around us. They're everywhere. This is a dangerous spot because there's all kinds of logs in close to shore here. And this one I could see maybe getting off. Gotta be careful with it. It's a pretty good one. It feels pretty good. Man. Oh, go for a run. I could catch one right now if I wanted to. I know, there was one that boiled right beside us. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty nice one, Bren. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. I think I'm going to use the net for that one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice one. Look at that, what a beauty. Not long after the last one. I think it's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's not huge. Nice fish though. Really close to that last spot. This one was trolling. There's all kinds of weed in this lake. It's a clear sign that it's a spring-fed lake, especially so early in the year. I thought I was hung up on weed, and nope, there was a fish. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice big fat one. Beauty. There's a spot here where, um, pan over to that little patch of reeds. Right where those little patch of reeds are, there's like a little spring filtering into the lake. And I said to Bren, we're gonna get one there. And I hooked this guy. Bren got a snag and then I, I, uh, I got this one. Um, we're drifting right into shore and uh, I think your rod's gonna be okay, but it might not be. They're not giant, but they're really nice sized brook trout. Holy smokes. Almost think I should use the net. Let's see if I can just tail it. You know they're a uh, good sized brook trout when you can tail them. Let me see. This one will be good, uh, easy to release. Not deeply hooked. This one's on the perch colored weaver grabber. Oh no. You can't win with this wind. Look at that. All right, the kid is up to bat. Way to go, buddy. Same kind of spot. There's where the little creek is filtering in right there. Yeah, that one's a little smaller, but still a super nice fish. No, can you land it without the net? We're drifting right into these weeds, okay? It's a nice chunky one. Good job. They like that perch colored weaver grabber, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah, this was amazing. Well, this one's going crazy. Oh my god. That's a nice one. We're right in the end of the lake. There's like a swamp here. It's real shallow. Brendan uh, was reeling his spoon in and this thing just erupted right beside the canoe. Took a swipe at it. And then uh, it hit it again, right beside the boat. Amazing. It's a pretty nice one. It's putting up a good fight. 
Yeah, I know. He said it scared him. <laughs> that was amazing. Nice one. Here, I'm going to get this rod out of the way. Yeah, I think you're going to need the nut for sure. Oh, that could be the biggest one so far. Yeah, it's like... It's like the other ones, I think. Just a really nice one. That, that one fought pretty good, though. It still is. We got it. All right. Let's have a look at that fish. That's a nice brook trout. Good job. Okay, Bren's on a roll now. I think he's happy now. This is like five minutes after the last one. Oh, that's a nice one. He just casted right at that uh, fallen log there. That's a beauty, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a good one. That's a big, thick male, I think. Man, is there some nice fish in this lake. And a number of them too, he says, yes. That's the reward for this kind of effort. You weren't very, oh, it's not as big as I thought, you know. No, it is, it's actually still a really nice one. I'll probably net that one too. Really nice one, they're all really quality brook trout. We got it. Oh, it's a fat one. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Oh. oh. And the hook came out. Oh. Beauty. We're working around our second pass around the lake. I switched up to a little uh, count or a um, tiny little rapala. Brendan is sticking with the uh, the tried and true weaver grabber. There's a shoal here. There's no way you can see it, but there's like a shallow shoal that extends out. It's like maybe two feet deep here. It's a good spot. The water in this lake is so dark, so tan and stained. Eh, Bren? You can you can barely see down inside. Another nice fat one. A little earlier this morning, he was complaining. He's like, Dad, I don't want you to catch the next one. And I just I say, Bren, you, I knew your time would come. That's a pretty nice one. Here, maybe we shouldn't net that one. It's not that big. It's not that big, he says. It's a nice, that's a nice brook trout. Oh. <laughs> Good going. Uh, oh, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, he's getting spoiled, this kid. Okay, that was crazy. Bren, you want to just land that one? So he's, we switched to a smaller size spoon. Sorry, we're going right into a big brushy pile here. And uh, then he starts freaking out. He's like, Dad. There's like two or three following it in. And uh, I was trying to get the camera on and I flipped my spoon in behind his. I, there was one nipping at it at the side of the boat. That's crazy. There's like a little little nest of them here, eh buddy? We switched, we, we toned it down. I mean, it's not a big fish, but beauty. Just a slightly more subtle, smaller one. All right, dad's turn. Just a little guy. We'll take him. You know what that means, Bren? No, I have no clue. You're the one who was counting. Oh, 12. We're even again now. You were one ahead, right? Yeah. If I land this one. Hopefully you don't. Oh. <clears throat> Bren just flipped his spoon into that <clears throat> fallen tree right there. <clears throat> 
That's a, yeah, it's a nice one. It's not a giant, nice chunky little one. It's a feisty one, yeah. <clears throat> As the day has gone on here, it's been just a brilliant sunny day. I think the water temperature, I don't have a thermometer, but I'll bet you it's uh, warmed up by a degree or two. And uh, sometimes that makes all the difference in the world early in the spring. Don't you stop flopping around. Yeah, they flop quite a bit. Those guys. I gotta reel mine in. That's a pretty nice one, actually. Nice one. Yeah, beauty. Beautiful, clean, wild, native brook trout. That's a female, I think. Beauty. All right, we'll get that guy back. Good stuff. Okay, the kid's in a panic. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're in this little tight neck down here. And, uh, oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice fat one. That's, I think, the biggest one that you've hooked so far. A big, big, colorful male. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's, I don't know if you can hear that. It just went on a run, a crazy long run. Bren, that's a, that's a monster. This is definitely net worthy, this one for sure. Oh, it's so heavy. I know. It, it does not that, I don't know if the microphone it, it picked that up, but it, that fish just went on like a 50 foot run. It just screamed the line off of his reel. Beautiful spot here. Oh. Oh, don't let him get in the, don't, don't pull too hard. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we don't want him to get into the, into the branches of the tree. I might have to actually, oh, Brent, this is not good. That's a smart fish. Here, let me turn the boat. Oh, careful, your rod's gonna bust. Okay, this is reminding me of last year's trip now, <laughs> where your rod was being bent into a pretzel. The old Fenwick Ultralight, that thing's got to be 30 years old, that rod. Brendan likes it. All right, I'm going to. Oh, we got it. It's a monster. Brent, woo. Oh, let's have a look. Open your bail up. That's a, that's a beauty. That is a, I think that's the biggest one so far for sure. Yeah, it must be at least like three, four pounds. That one, probably three and a half. It might be four. Wow, good job. <laughs> Holy cow. I think it's a bit smaller actually. I don't know. Oh, I'm not so sure that one's small. Brendan's on fire now. He's quite proud of himself, I think. Yeah, it's not a big one, but uh, hey, that's a nice one. You okay, or do you want to net it? <clears throat> okay, we're counting that one landed, no matter what happens now. Very nice, beautiful. The forceps are actually on the floor right behind you, if you need them. Just a little twist of the forceps. Very good, all right. Hey buddy. Hi. Brennan's got the light day pack on. We're about to go into back lake number two. Got the canoe right there. 
I got the GPS. We gotta go that away. And uh, just gonna walk in because uh, I don't know how hard it's gonna be. I don't know how thick the brush is gonna be. We're not gonna do it in a single carry. And we'll come back and get the canoe. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Brendan at some point is gonna be saying, what are you gonna be saying? I don't know. There better be fish in this lake, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. The, the first back lake was wicked good, so we have extremely high hopes for this one. Um, these bush bashes are always kind of fun. And I don't mean fun, I mean, uh, that was sarcastic. They're pure hell. <laughs> right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. To the victor go the spoils. Yeah. Or he's like, shut up and let's go. Well, we made it. Here we are. It wasn't too, too bad, eh, buddy? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Just the first little bit. A mountains. Mountains. We might have to tweak the route a little bit on the way back. Yeah. We just walked in with our day packs. Now we gotta go back and get the canoe. Yeehaw. And the fishing rods. So, fun stuff. Yeah. But uh, high hopes. Fortune favors the bold. That's the saying I was trying to remember earlier. So we shall see what this lake holds in store for us a little bit later. All right. Sign out for now. Okay. We just started. Brendan just like literally seconds ago said, I don't have a really good feeling about this lake, Dad. And what happened? I think I got a big fish on. I think you got a pretty big one on. I'm gonna try and turn the boat. The wind is wreaking havoc here. Fighting really hard. Uh, I don't think it's a super giant, but I think it's a pretty nice one. They all feel big on that little ultralight. Yeah. They feel giant. I can't do it I know, because the wind is pushing the boat. There's not much I can do. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Real colorful one. Holy cow. Yeah, beautiful male. Nice color on it. Nice one. Good start. I'd say that's a pretty good start. We got her. It's not a giant fish, but that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Just Vivid, vivid colors. Right on. Nice going. My turn. <laughs> All right, I guess there's a few fish in this lake. And the weaver grabber again. This is just a big giant sand flat here. No more than three or four feet deep. I thought I was snagged. It's a fairly common pattern in the early spring. They just cruise in this, uh, especially not long after ice out, they cruise into the shallower, these shallower sandy mud flats uh, looking for bugs. It was not a huge one. I think it's similar to Brendan's. We just broke, broke out the beef jerky for a snack and then got rudely interrupted, right, buddy? Uh, fighting the wind. Whoa. Whoa, man. Fish are super extra, extra feisty in this lake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. That's similar to yours. This one's a female. A 
Actually, this one might be a teeny bit bigger. Need to see it, buddy. Nice. All right, we got a little bit of a cloudy day today. We just started. We're battling with the wind. I'm not going to deny it. It's, uh, it's a challenge. I'm trying to fish with the fly rods. So I switched back to the spinning rod and uh, weaver grabber. Oh, the fish in this lake are absolutely brilliant. Brilliant colored. Unbelievable. Wow. Alright, I got the, the anchor out. It's kind of deceiving because it doesn't look like it's rough, but this uh, this boat is like just like a leaf on the water. Brendan weighs about as much as a bag of chips. So we're getting blown around like crazy. So this is a big sand flat. It's kind of a beach in that direction. And uh, it's the windward end of the lake, which is always good. And there's a result, a nice fat little female brook trout. Beautiful fish. Okay, Bren just, I uh, just caught like two that we didn't get on film. Nice ones, like 14, 15 inches. And uh, Bren just had a pretty vicious hit. It's so shallow here, like three feet max. It's just crazy. Um, but it's the windward end of the lake, and the fish seem to be stacked up. It's, I'm sure it's warmer here. So whether they're feeding on minnows or bugs, uh, there's no real structure. It's flat as a pancake. But uh, we worked our way around the perimeter of the entire lake with pretty much nothing. And at least today, uh, this is where they are. Uh, started out raining, cloudy, and then it got calm. Then we came out, then there was a gale force wind, white caps on this little lake. And Brendan was not happy because we were getting blown around like crazy. And uh, now the clouds have all blown away pretty much, and it's sunny. Uh, still breezy, but uh, so it's almost perfect. If there was just a bit less wind, we'd be able to work this lake a little bit easier. Same spot. It's really nice and warm now. This is not a big fish, but I uh, highly doubt you can see, but it's so shallow right here. I just, it's actually surprising me a little bit. That's a small one. Yeah. How uh, shallow these fish are actually are. But the ice went out, I would say, less than a week ago, so the water is still very cold. So they, they seek out these warm spots, you know, this shallow, warm, mucky bays that they soak up the heat like a sponge and uh, attracts the fish. Sure. Almost one after another, like, it's yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, it's really good. And the thing that's good is... Uh, you know it's a good lake when you don't have to worry about catching fish. We'll wait till about six o'clock and then kill a couple. No problem. As soon as the wind dies down a little bit, we're gonna get more on the fly rod. Definitely. Nice. They're all like that. I don't even know what that is, like 14, 15 inches. But uh barely short. Whatever these guys are, I'm just going to shake it off. Whatever they're eating, they're, uh, they're well fed. Like that, that one was fat. Okay, look at mine. Mine's ultra dink sized. Bren's got a good one on.
just going to unhook this one. It is a double, technically speaking. Now, to the real fish, the important one, if we need to net that one, uh, you got the net right behind you. I can't reach it. Oh, you almost got the flare rod. It's not like, oh, you're going to get it yourself? Yeah, okay. Nice one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Brendan was like, my lure sucks, Dad. It's not working. Give me the one that you're using. So I actually gave him literally the one that was on my line. Now he's all happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a giant, but it's a nice fatty. Nice one. There you go. You got it. You got it. <laughs> They're very, very floppy, these guys. Um, okay, so I got the forceps right here if, uh, if you need them anyway. We'll shut this camera off just for a second. And uh, beautiful fish. Same spot. The, it's like the wind just died down a little bit. and uh, I don't know what's going on, but the fish seemed to have turned on, Ava. Yeah. I think I can just grab this one. Okay. This is on the... Uh, Copper and green winch ridgeback. There's a little bit of orange in it too. I think it's called Envy. It's an amazing brook trout spoon. Some of these fish are um, kind of, oh, this one's got a little bit of a belly on it. But some of them have like big heads and skinny bodies. Like they're almost uh, emaciated. working hard on this lake and uh, just let I think that's a pretty good one the wind is pushing us like crazy it's um, it's been really tough to hook fish on this lake so Bren uh, and it's a windy day today it's just a battle it feels pretty good doesn't it bud uh, that's a nice one that's a nice one Okay, we're gonna, we really want this one because we want to eat fish tonight. Brennan's got the uh, copper and green and orange Williams Ridge back on. Heavy, heavy, heavy fish. It is a heavy fish. <laughs> Just moments before, Brendan caught a ginormous perch that we actually roped up. I'll show it to you in just a second. What is that? That's a, Big, big, well, it's a nice big fat brook trout. Easy, easy, easy. Now, in this clear, clear lake, they tend to be a little more silvery. Yeah. We got it. Oh, that's a big fat one. Open up your bill. Nice, big, fat brook trout. Now, have a look at this. That's what we just kept. This perch, because we're getting desperate. What do you think? About time, eh, buddy? Yeah. You, you were working hard for that one. Okay, so I just switched uh, to a different color of uh, Williams Ridgeback spoon. This one's gold, mostly gold with a little bit of orange in it. Are we on a collision course here somewhere, Brent? Uh, right behind you, there's a little big rock that we're gonna slide right into. It's not good. Jesus. Oh, it's a big one, too. Oh my gosh. There's just a lot of logs around here, and I can't do anything with the paddle. I gotta get away from this corner. Yeah, I'll try and... Okay. 
Okay, I think we're good. Good. I think it's a big fish. Yeah, it's, it's a, oh, that's an enormous brook trout. Tank. That's a tank. Oh, this wind is just brutal. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big jump right there. Holy cow. I need the net handy. Net. This one is humongous. It's right there. Oh my god, it's huge. It's over that's five biggest, cents. That's the biggest one of the trip. Look at Oh that. my gosh. Friend, I can't even get it in the net. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Paddle, 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 paddle. Oh my god. That's over That's six. a trophy. Oh, it's a giant, giant, giant brook trout. Friend. Oh my god. That's a giant. Seriously. Oh. That's maybe as big as anything we caught last year. That must be six. It's it's so big. Holy God almighty. I'm just going to get some pictures and get this guy back in, but let's as see quick as we can. can. Yeah, as quick as we can. Oh, beautiful. Nice fish. I'm just uh, filming here right now. We're in this beautiful little current area. Careful with that one. I'd like to ha have a better look at it, Brent. <clears throat> just casting a spinner. Look at this beautiful water here. Oh my goodness, that's a dandy, that's a dandy, wow. Pretty epic ending to our trip, eh buddy? Yeah. What do you say, been a good trip? Yeah. Amazing trip, I say. And look at this lake. It's like a painting. Incredible. Unbelievable. Awesome, incredible, spectacular. There's not enough adjectives. Until next year.